Hi, my name is Julian and I'm going to be sharing with you today how you can transfer your cryptocurrency from SwiftX to Trust Wallet. So I'm sharing with you how you can transfer your cryptocurrencies, your altcoins to your Trust Wallet. I'm also going to be sharing with you how you can actually add coins on your Trust Wallet if you can't find them already on there. So I'm going to share with you with this and much more more step by step. I'm going to start out with a beginner mindset, so if you're completely new, this video is going to help you out. So the first and the very first step you take is going to the App Store or your Google Play Store, whatever you got. It works on both, as you can see here, Google and App Store. You can download it on both. The Trust Wallet is owned by Binance Network, so Binance owned Trust Wallet. So the first step is you want to go to the App Store. So this is a step one of getting started for beginners, completely beginners. You want to type in Trust Wallet and it should pop up at the very top. Um, so this is an ad here. This is actual Trust Wallet here. So you just want to click see where it says open. Normally you, you just want to click download. So download the app. Once it's downloaded, it will allow you, it should be on your home screen just like it it is on mine here. As you can see here, there's my trust wallet. This is what you will be looking for. So once you do open open up your trust wallet when you do have it downloaded, that's the next step. You'll be prompted with something like this. I already have a wallet, create a wallet. Depends on if you already have a wallet. All assets in one place. So you just wanna click create a wallet. I understand the rules, my recovery. So you wanna make sure you get these um, recovery words. So as you can see these words right here, this is the ones that um, it was talking about. So make sure you copy these and put them in a safe place. You can print these out, you can do whatever you want, but just put them in a safe place and make sure no one gets access to these because if they get access to these recovery phase codes, they can get into your account no matter what, they can recover it and then ha they have your cryptocurrency. So after you've done that, you click continue. All right, so once you've done that, all I've done here is just copy the recovery codes and put them in again. That's all they want you to do. They just want you to repeat it again and then hit continue. Then your wallet should be successfully created. Now you have a wallet. You can see that they've got the main cryptocurrencies on the wallet itself. You can add more if you click that top right button here. It shows you that you can add more here. So there's more than you just see on the home page when you first join. So don't stress about it. And there's plenty of ways you can add more that I'm going to be sharing with you how you can add more cryptocurrencies onto the trust wallet. So don't think you can only um, transfer only a few. You can pretty much transfer every single one that you can think of. So like I said, I just want to go run down. So like I said, you want to make sure you have your seed code saved somewhere. And just a reminder, your trust wallet is a wallet that is um, more secure than owning your cryptocurrency on exchange. So you're better to have your cryptocurrency on here if you tr if you um, want to have more secure more secure um, your coins, your cryptocurrency. This is the best way to do it. One of the best ways to do it. All right. So now the next step is to go onto your trust wallet or go on your SwiftX account and figure out which coin you wish to withdraw to your um, trust wallet. So this can be easily done. So you just hop on your trust wallet. So you, if you know already what coin you want to transfer to your um, your your um, trust wallet, it's really that simple. All you do is come to your trust wallet, type the coin that you have. So TWT. So trust wallet. I'm going to transfer a trust wallet into my. Um, so I'm going to transfer the actual cryptocurrency trust wallet into my trust wallet account. So as you can see, you can put these on. You can show, now it will show up on the home page. Also take notice, ignore, you, can, you all you have to do is press those little buttons on the top right. As you can see, I'm gonna put my mouse over it. These here, click on those little buttons at the top right and it will show this here. So as you can see, I've added Trust Wallet. You can just type in whatever coin you want, whatever one you can think of. So if, if we go on to, let's say, on to SwiftX here, and you click on um, trade, buy, you click on the buy button here. You click on any coin here. Let's say, let's, let's say just this one, Aeon. All you have to do on Trust Wallet, as you can see, type in the coin. As you can see, it's popped up there. 
click the add button here and just click done and then as you can see it should pop up here click on that you want to receive it boom there you go so now I'm going to show you how you can actually receive the coin so I'm going to send some small amount of trust wallet into my um, into my actual trust wallet stranger no so if it does confuse you so all I do here is click on the receive button here because I'm receiving it and if you want to send it you just click on the send button that's next to it so all I'm doing is click on the receive button and you can see I've got the code here all you can you just want to click the copy the copy at the bottom left now I'm going to go onto my trust wallet onto my SwiftX account and type in trust wallet that's it there trust wallet token as you can see it's popped up my trust wallet so this is actually buying it I actually want to withdraw it sorry to confuse you you want to go to the withdraw button here at the top so the buy trade down to the withdrawal button here as you can see and then you want to click this little plus symbol here you want to type what you name so I'm going to put in the trust my trust wallet so I'm just sending it my trust wallet here then the address which is right here this one here that I showed you before I'm going to skip this really quickly and copy and paste this all I'm going to do is copy it into um, from my phone to my computer really quickly for you guys and then I'll copy it and paste it that same address that I showed you on your phone on my phone that I copied right there at the bottom there as you can see all I'm doing is putting that into this here alright so as you can see I've just added the code that I've showed you just before I've added the address that I want to receive my wallet wants to receive trust wallet so all I do is confirm it add it here and now my withdraw address should be added here so I'm going to enter a security pin that you get that's just a security that I've got on my thing so that's all it really is it's just a security um, precaution sort of thing everyone can add it so now it's verified and now I can withdraw to this wallet and all you do now is hit this little green button here as you can see that little blue button I mean that little blue money button here and now you want to withdraw how much do you want to withdraw worth so let's just say 15 15 15 AED worth reason you want to withdraw it simply want to withdraw it to another transfer to a personal wallet so this is how much I'm sending you can send how much in AED as well if you just want to set how much in AED you want to send to your trust wallet and then click withdraw and that's how simple it really is to actually transfer to your trust wallet and as you can see it's processing on the right here processing down here it'll tell you once it's complete and then you should have it in your wallet it could take an hour or so before you can see it in your wallet just to let you know so as you, you, I haven't got it yet in there, but it should show up in this wallet here. So ignore like, ignore like seeing the other wallet here. Ignore the other trust wallet at the below it. Um, sometimes it's glitchy and it's got a couple of, um, couple of wallets there. I kind of normally test it and send like only a couple of dollars just to make sure everything's worth working. So that's what I recommend to you. So make sure you um, double check it. Send a few dollars because it is a bit glitchy sometimes. I think I don't know what why it does it. I'm not ex actually exactly sure, but um, it happens. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it. Even if you send it to either of those, I don't think it um, affects anything. You can still send it back to your SwiftX account. Just to let you head. Just a heads up there. So as you can see, it's processing. Once it's done processing and it's in my account, I will come hop back on and I'll show you. All right, so I just received it in my account. As you can see on the top right, I've just received it into my wallet, in my trust wallet, the actual currency itself, the coin. So it only took like a matter of a couple of minutes to actually go into my account. And it was really simple and easy. As you can see, I've verified it. So this is the easiest way you can send your cryptocurrency into your trust wallet. It doesn't, if you only have like a few hundred dollars, maybe it doesn't fuss you and you don't really want to um, have a wallet. That's fine. Like that's option for you. You can still keep it on the exchange. I've had no issues on exchanges itself, but they are prone to get hacked and they have been hacked in the past. So that's how you can secure your currency, cryptocurrency way easier. As you can see, you just click receive. You type in the cryptocurrency, like I said, let's say you just want to put, put put um, Bitcoin Cash in there. You get the address here. You send it like I just showed you before. On SwiftX, you go withdraw it. Click the withdraw button, which you can find here as well on the trade button drop down. Add it here. You add the trust wallet again and the address like I just showed you. 
and then boom, you have it ready to go and you can verify and you can withdraw it to your wallet. It's really that simple. It can be done with any cryptocurrency that you own. Almost any that you can search is on Trust Wallet and it's really that simple. I hope you understand. And the other way, and if you want to send it back to an exchange, it's the same thing but the other way around. So you want to receive it. So, so as you can see, receive it deposit so deposit you want to deposit it in here you click here you click the um, ethereum network address you copy that you click the send button here you want to click the address in here so as you can see here, you just want to click the max or whatever amount you want to send click copy the address into here and then you should be um done then you just click next and you send it that's how you can easily send it back to your in exchange it's the same process just the other way around. Make sure you put the deposit, click the deposit option here. So that's really that simple. That's how you can withdraw it to your trust wallet and how you can send it to send it back to an exchange. And it's really that simple. I hope you understand and how it all works. It's really um, straightforward once you get the hang of it. So I also want to share with you how you can actually add it. If you can't find a coin on here, this is how you can actually add it. So one step is you want to come to CoinGecko, maybe CoinSpot, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, it doesn't really matter, whatever one. So now I'm going to share with you how you can add any cryptocurrency. If you don't see a coin that you haven't, um, if you don't see a coin on your, um, on your trust wallet that you want to send it to, you just come to here, type in the coin. Let's say you want to type, it doesn't matter what, what it is, I'm just going to type in anything here. As you can see, it says add custom code here. So all you have to do now is come over to CoinMarketCap. Let's, let's just go to some random coin that's just been added, and I'll show you how it's done. So most likely, these haven't been added onto, um, onto, coin, onto um, Trust Wallet. So if you get these, you have to actually come on here. You see this here, BS, BSC scan. You just click that, and now it'll bring up all the details that you need to actually create. Here, you can see the contract here, you need to grab that, the decimals, so as you can see on my phone here, the contract here, you want to change first, you want to change it to smart network, because this is on the smart network, as you can see it's, it says it's on the smart network back on here, see that symbol here, that's a smart network, most coins are on the Ethereum network, just a heads up, majority of them are on Ethereum network. So most of them are on Ethereum network. But this one is on this, um, you can tell is on the smart network because it has a little symbol um, next to it. So first up, you want to put the name of it. So the name of it is Galaxy, Galaxy Coin. The symbol is just this little code here. So if you look for the symbol, the symbol might be, oh, there it is here. <coughs> G, L, X, C. Decimals is 18. Now we have to do is get the contract address here. As you can see right here. I won't be a second. Alright, so now you just paste the contract address in there. And then you should have the token save. Save the token. And then as you can see, it's right there now. It's added into your um, same symbol here. It's added into um, your trust wallet. All I did was come to here once again and um, you get all the details here that you need to do to add. And as you can see all the details are right here. You just want to you just want to make sure you put those details in correctly and then add it and then you're ready to go. And then as you can see you can receive it and you can send it. And that's how simple it is to add actual any currency you want to add on here if you can't find it on um, Trust Wallet already when you search it. So I hope this video has been valuable for you. I hope you, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know below. I tried my best to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Hopefully this helps you in any way and shape or form. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.